Hi guys, Top Ops here, and today I know the title says that I'm going to be showing you guys the basement, and we will be later in this episode, but before we do that, I was in the area and haven't been to this EB Games, where is it? This EB Games in a while, so we might as well go in here first, and I guess, let's get started. Oh, and actually, before we go in, I have been seeing that a lot of stores are getting in that new Jaws moment where it's the ship and then the shark at the bottom just about to eat Quint. And I'm hoping that we can find that one today because that would be a sick figure to have in the collection. All right, so here's our section here, and it seems a little bit picked over. Like, they have some decent stuff, but uh, nothing, like, too, too new. But they, I guess they do have the Dark Trooper as well as Crosshair, and they've got some of the new Grogu's, like, with Butterfly as well as with Cookies. But then that seems to be about the newest thing. Oh, actually, you know what, guys? I spoke too soon. They actually did get in the 10-inch Wayne Gretzky, and if you guys want to check him out, it's kind of hard to see, and I don't even know if I can reach that. But, yeah, there he is right there, and definitely a neat figure. And then, actually, guys, over here in there, I believe this is the cheaper pop section. Like, they're probably on on sale. Yeah, they're only like six bucks. They do have some interesting figures like Dune. These ones here are kind of funny because the movie is just coming out, I believe sometime this month, and they are, yeah, $8.99. And then they also have a Sultron, Nerd Rage, some of the ones from Men in Black, and then this is interesting because the second movie's coming out, and they still have some from the first movie that came out, like, what, two years ago? Yeah, look at that, 2019. Oh, and I guess, guys, they also did get in this new Rey Mysterio, which is a pretty cool one. I'm loving the mask on this figure, and if you guys want to check out the back with all of the other wrestlers, there they are right there, but I don't watch too much wrestling, so I'm not going to grab it. I just wanted to show it off because I thought a lot of you guys might like this. So, guys, I came over to the front here, and I found the Funkoverse. They've got the Jurassic Park one as well as the DC one, and you guys know how I like to think. No chase left behind. And they've got this one here, which has the Chase Black Panther. If I buy this, this would be my third one of this one because I like to, well, not leave the chases behind. So, I think for this one, do I get it? Oh, but it's, it's $60. I can't do it again. All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting, and this right here is the door into the brand new office. So I guess let's open this thing up so that way you guys can see what it looks like. Alrighty, everybody, here we go. There's gonna be a bit of an echo, but this is the new office. And if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it seems a little bit more like a studio than an office, so I don't know if I'm gonna be calling it an office this entire time, but for now, that's what we're going with. And yes, I know there's a massive echo in here, but it should get a lot better once we put everything inside. It's too bad that it's really echoey right now, but that's what we have to live with. And something that I really enjoy about down here is that we have all of these nooks and crannies. So this could be a great filming space, but then also we might be putting a lot of shelves over here, and this could be another great spot to maybe even just put a corner like we had it at the old office. And also, I don't know how many of you guys would have noticed this, but at the old office, we had really poor lighting that wasn't my own. Like, the ones that actually came from the ceiling weren't the greatest. So now, here, we've got these lights, which will shine perfectly on the shelves as soon as I fill this up. And this wall here is going to be where all of the pops go, and I think it's really going to look nice. And then over in this corner, this is where I'm hoping to put maybe, like, the couch, as well as just a lamp, mini fridge, just a place where I could sit, where I don't have to have figures in the background in case I want to do maybe some other type of filming. I'm not sure. But what I am sure about is that this is going to be an amazing place to film, especially because we'll have more than one spot where I can film, like something over here, maybe even one in this section, one where the couch is. I'm hoping for like maybe three or four spots. Oh, and also, it might have looked a little bit dark over here, but I actually have a separate light switch, so that way we can brighten this thing up whenever we want, and that I mean, come on, that looks really nice. Oh, and you guys might have been wondering what this door was right here. Well, this is actually something kind of funny. It's nothing too crazy, but I don't know why, but we have our own bathroom down here. I mean, hey, it can't hurt to have one. And if you guys do want a 360 of the room, here it is right here. Like, this thing is massive, and I'm so excited to start putting my pops and just other figures in general inside of it. And well, anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything inside of here for now. There really isn't much, and before we even start putting stuff inside of here, we have to go say bye to the old office. Oh, you're kidding. Well, everybody, this is the closest we could get it. It just won't close. <laughs> You know what, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever closed this door. Hmm. You what? Ah, oh, not you too. <laughs> well, again guys, that's the closest we're gonna get.
I was looking through the thing. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I missed it again. I gotta just look at the light switch. Okay. <clears throat> third try. Third try. Third try. Third try. Nice. And well, all right, everybody, there you go. We are officially out of the old office. So I guess the next thing to do is, well, start filling this place. All right, everyone, so it is a lot later now. We have a bunch of stuff in here, and I wanna show you this, and I'm not gonna be showing you guys everything because I think it'd be really fun to, at the end, give you guys an entire tour, and then you guys are kind of surprised when all of the pops are down here. So I wanna show you what we've got right now, which is these four shelves. These are the only shelves that we've moved in so far because these ones were the ones that were empty in the garage. And then, guys, these are the bins for a lot of the newer pops that I had. Some of the ones that weren't, you know, on the shelves yet because we didn't have enough room, as well as some of the ones that maybe I just put on the shelves. So these ones here are definitely going to be some interesting ones that I'm going to be excited to put on the background because the whole background that we're going to be filming in is going to be different from the last one. Because even though the background's gonna be very similar with the shelves and the pops in the background, I do wanna make it as different as possible. So going with some of the newer ones, like maybe we'll have a black light section, or we could just have Marvel in general, or maybe some Funko ones like Brian Mariotti. I don't know, guys. The possibilities are endless. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, Grandpa is also down here. He's been watching me move stuff around. <laughs> How do you like it down here? Is it nice? Pardon? Do you like it down here? I love it. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna put my bed right here. <laughs> yeah, it's got to Just be. enough room. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we are going to be putting the first pop onto the shelf, and it is going to be this one right here, the Black Light Gambit. And here we go. There it is. I might move that, but for now, that's where it's staying. So it is a couple hours later and I thought that I would give you guys an update because I have really been working on these bins. It's just, it's a lot slower than I expected. Because the bins are just random. Like it's not like DC in one bin and then add icons in another, then Marvel in the next. It's just kind of, well, everything all in one. And here's a good bin to give you guys an example. We've got like the pop around the world. We've got, well, Pokemon, I mean, DC, Frozen. Like it really is just a jumble of characters. So it's taking me a while to kind of go through them and put them on the shelves where I want them. And this is where we're at at the moment. I don't know if they're gonna stay like this, but what I'm doing at least is putting them into their right category. So we've got the foodies over here. We've got Marvel in this section. Some more Marvel up top there. Uh, Disney over here. And I really do like the way I've got the Disney ones what I'm thinking of doing is maybe having a bunch of like the older Disney figures in the front, similar to like King Candy, as well as like my original like Mickey and Minnie, and maybe even the Steamboat Willie. Oh, and actually this is a good example too. Something like this one here, like Doug. These ones would be in the front instead of all of the newer ones like Luca. Even though I do really enjoy having them in the front there, I think it'd be cool to go back and show off some figures that we probably don't have too many videos to put them in anymore. Oh, and then also guys, down here we've got the ad icons, we've got retro toys, and then here we've got a lot of the office ones. Now these are kind of just like the random ones or like the more exclusive ones. Actually, yeah, most of these are exclusives. So I don't know, I'm just putting all of the different office ones that I can possibly find and putting them in this section for now. And I know I've got a lot of them and there wasn't enough room in one of those sections. So they are getting a bottom one here just because I definitely have more than 30. Because if you guys don't know, these bottom ones hold 45 figures. These ones hold 30 and then way at the top here, these ones hold just about 15. Well, it is a couple hours later, everybody. Actually, about two hours later. I took a break for a while, but then I came back down again just because I wanted to put some more figures on the shelves. And this is what it's looking like. And I feel like it's not that different from the last time, but it is coming along nicely. And something that I am noticing already with me putting these in the room, as well as just having bins around, the echo is getting a lot less, which is nice. It's dampening, which is good because I feel like once we have everything all the way around the room, there's not gonna be hardly any echo at all. Oh, and while I was going through all of the figures, I ran into this one right here, which is the Jiminy Cricket. And this one here, I gotta show you guys just because of how cool this figure is. And this is probably one of my favorite Disney pops in the collection because he's jumping, he's got the umbrella in his hand, and seriously, it is just a neat figure. Oh, and also I found my Funko Shop exclusive Hulk, so I was able to do an entire row of blacklight figures. And I feel like if I can, I might do like 10 all across the front here. I think that would look really nice. But for now, we're gonna have to just put some random ones up here. So what I did was instead of putting blacklight ones, I just put some of my favorites, like the Unmasked Iron Man, Cap Wolf, Iron Patriot, Alligator Loki, and Red Hulk. 
Oh, and also the most recent thing that I've been working on is this section right here, which kind of is just like all of the animation ones, and I know that I had the Hanna-Barbera ones and the My Hero ones separate, but for now I'm putting them all there so I at least know where they are. And I'm pretty sure I got most of them out of these bins. Oh, no, wait, wait, all of those Looney Tunes ones are animation technically. Oh, and also over in this corner, this is where I've got a lot of my doubles as well as ones that I'm probably going to be getting rid of because, I mean, I don't need every single one of the figures that I've got. So if there's something that I'm maybe not enjoying as much as I did when I bought it, or maybe I've got doubles, like here is a great example. This one right here, which is silver from Sonic the Hedgehog. I have this one as well as the glow in the dark one. So instead of keeping both of them, I'm just keeping the Hot Topic exclusive. And you guys might be wondering, Tristan, where are you going to be getting rid of these? Well, I'm glad that you asked. I'm actually going to be going to Niagara Falls Fan Fest, and if you guys want to check it out, there is the poster right there, and I will be there both days with a double booth. Because you guys might remember back in 2019, I went to Niagara Falls Comic Con, but they're holding like a bit of a smaller one because we didn't get the normal Niagara Falls Comic Con in June due to COVID. And if you're able to make it, I definitely recommend it because I will be there for both days walking around the con and just being at the booth, selling things, doing mystery boxes, just all the fun stuff that the conventions have. Oh, and also, if you come over to my booth, a lot of the stuff is going to be probably cheaper than Pop Price Guide just because I feel weird selling it to you guys for full price, so they're going to be some pretty great deals. And so anyways, I just wanted to mention it quickly because if you guys wanted to go or maybe get ready for it, it's going to be at the end of October, and I think that it's going to be a lot of fun. And again, if you guys want to see the poster, there it is right there. Oh, and actually, would you look at that right there? Here's another animation one, and I mean, come on, Underdog, that is a neat one, and I'm definitely not getting rid of this one. Sorry, guys. And well, anyways, that is pretty much everything for today, and please let me know in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying the new office because seriously, I am having a lot of fun with this. And I know that setting up this room is gonna take a little while, probably about a week or a week and a half. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up the background for you guys so we can make normal videos and I'll just be doing the setup in the background. I mean, the background in terms of like, you guys won't be seeing it, but I'll do a big tour at the end for you. And so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a pool On a four with school Baby gonna screw She funny with it Cool B-5-4 thump I'm a hump On a bounce Jack and Jill Up a hill Baby tryna get a meal Mary had a little lamb I really do not fuck with And she callin' me the muffin Man I surely like the muffin top Snow Lama lashes